So, let us talk about Stackelberg, Stackelberg model of duopoly. The setting is very similar to the Cournot game. The only difference is that the two firms do not make their quantity decision simultaneously. Here we can say that the firm 1 is a leader, what it means that firm 1 decides first, firm 2 observes what firm 1 has decided and then firm 2 makes its production decision. So, firm 1 is the leader and firm 2 is the follower. So, the optimization problem that we did earlier in the Cournot game, this is exactly the same for the form 2. For form 1, we will see the change. So, what we have obtained because form 2 here, what we have done here form 2 in the setting Cournot setting, what we have done that form 2 thinks that form 1 is going to produce Q 1 and this formula gives the optimal level of production for form 2. The only difference here is that it is not form to belief anymore, form 2 knows for certain that form 1 is going to produce Q 1 amount, because form 2 has observed how much form 1 has produced. So, Q 2 is going to be a function of A minus C divided by 2 B minus, let us go back Q 1 by 2 and there is no hat here, because form 1, form 2 sorry, form 2 knows how much form 1 has produced. Now, let us think about the uh, optimization problem or the profit maximization problem of form 1. Form 1, when form 1 makes its production decision, it does not exactly know what form 2 is going to produce, but form 1 knows that form 2 is profit maximizer and form 2 is going to observe how much it has produced Q 1 and form 2 is going to take it into account and would produce according to this formula. This form 1 is aware of. So, form 1 rather than thinking that how much Q 2 uh, would be in the market, form 1 would know that if it is equal to Q 1, Q 2 would be given by this particular equation. So, the form 1's profit maximization problem would be maximize with respect to q 1 a minus b q 1 plus q 2 and q 2 happens to be here a minus c divided by 2 b minus q 1 by 2. This is what and here this is the price in the market multiplied by q 1 minus c q 1 and this is the optimization problem in for the market leader in the Stackelberg problem. Remember in Cournot problem here, we could not do this because form 1 did not know what form 2 is going to produce, but here even though form 2 is going to move after form 1 has decided, form 1 knows that this is the formula form 2 would be using how much to produce just let me check that it is correct. Okay. So, if we solve this problem, what would be the profit maximizing condition? A minus B Q 1 plus A minus C 2 B minus Q 1 by 2 minus B 1 minus half multiplied by q 1 minus c has to be equal to. So, when you solve it from here, you will get the amount of q 1, which will come out to be a minus c divided by 2 b. And when you plug it in the formula, what you are going to get is q 2 is equal to a minus c divided by 4 b. So, how much is going to be q 1 plus q 2? it is going to be equal to 3 by 4 b multiplied by a minus c. So, what happens to the total level of production? The total level of production is more than the Cournot, because we see in the Cournot, let me write q Cournot is 2 by 3 
b a minus c. So, the level of production goes up from the Cournot in Stackelberg setting. So, when the total output is more in the market, the price in the Stackelberg is going to be less than price in the Cournot market. So, that is it about Stackelberg competition. Thank you.